Hey everyone, I'm James from Central InfoSec, and today I'm going to show you a free framework that you can use to run phishing campaigns and raise security awareness. We're talking about GoFish. GetGoFish.com has the details about the framework. There is a user guide and complete installation details. But for this video, you can head over to the Central InfoSec blog where you can copy and paste the commands that we'll be running today. Before we get started, let me resize the terminal and turn off transparency. We're going to connect to a new Ubuntu server. We're going to create a new directory, download GoFish, install unzip, unzip GoFish, And then we're going to change the listen URL. Note that this exposes the admin interface, but we're using a firewall to restrict the source IP addresses. Here's a warning note that you can read. Next, we're going to start the GoFish server. Make sure you save the admin password. You're going to need this to log in. Next, browse to your IP address. Make sure you're using HTTPS and port 3333. When you first log in, it's going to ask you to set a new password. First, we're going to create a target group. You can give it a name. We're just going to call it group one. You can enter targets manually, or you can download a CSV template and bulk upload a list of users. Next, we're going to save the changes. Now we're going to create a sending profile. For this demo, we're just going to use Gmail. You could set up your own mail server or use another service. Now we're going to create a landing page. This is what the target's going to see when they click a link. You can create a custom page or import an existing site. Make sure you capture submitted data, and we're also going to capture passwords. Now we're going to redirect to the actual login page, but you could host a training page. Check out Hook Security Co. for their security awareness training and phishing testing. Just from this one page, you can learn what phishing is, different types of phishing emails, tips for avoiding phishing scams, and common phishing examples. They offer over 50 examples of phishing emails. It's a lot of good resources in here, so go check them out. But for this demo, we're just going to create a simple plain text email. We're going to include the first name, the link to the URL. We're going to add a tracking image and then save our template. Now we're going to create a phishing campaign. The URL is going to be our phishing server. We're sending to the group one. Now we're going to launch the campaign. Now this simulates a click from a user. They would see this login page. They're going to enter their username and password. Then they're going to be redirected to the actual login page. But if we go back to GoFish, you can see that someone opened the email clicked the link, submitted the data, and at the end of the campaign, you'll see all the numbers. You can drill into the details to see exact timestamps. You could replay credentials and even view the actual passwords and other information. If you scroll up, you can mark the campaign as complete. 
Now you're ready to run reports. There's a results and raw events CSV file. We're gonna download both of these. We're gonna head back to the Central InfoSec blog. If you scroll down on the GoFish blog, we have more resources to help you with phishing and security awareness. You can send phish credentials to Slack, use Cobalt Strike aggressor scripts, automate your Cobalt Strike phishing reporting, set up key loggers and more. But we're gonna look at two blog posts to help with reporting. The first one helps you create custom phishing reports from the GoFish results. You can see the GoFish results have a lot of data in there, but our script's gonna sort these into useful columns. The second blog post is an idea of how you can use a spreadsheet to track clicks over time. This can help you identify which users are clicking links the most. We ran the example script. Now we're gonna take a look at the output. So the first spreadsheet here, you can see columns for names, email address, who opened, clicked the email and submitted data. And the second spreadsheet, this is gonna track clicks over time. So here you can see six campaigns were run and over time the click rate lowered. Hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, see if you can find the hidden fish and hidden fish hook in the central InfoSec logo.